Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Engineers World and today we are going to study about breakpoint chlorination. Uh, but before discussing breakpoint chlorination, I will, I will be just throwing some light on what we mean by chlorination. And uh, about chlorination, I must tell you that chlorination is simply the process of addition of chlorine into the water. Because chlorine is an extremely reactive element, okay, and uh, and it is a strong oxidizing agent. It's added to water for disinfection processes by killing bacteria. For example, if we have bacteria, harmful bacteria present in our water, and we need to eliminate those. And for that, uh, we require some strong oxidizing agent which is toxic to these bacteria. Okay, and we have found chlorine. So addition of chlorine is called chlorination, and uh, chlorine is highly toxic, as I said. But uh, the chlorine does not react with water uh, when you when you when you just add it to the water but um, generally above pH 5 when we have uh, the water uh, the pH of water pH of water is greater than 5 then chlorine is reactive it reacts okay and when chlorine is reacted and it's added to the water uh, chlorine uh, reacts like this when it's added to water H2O okay it gives us HOCl that is hypochlorous acid and hydrochloric acid okay so this is what i talk about when we have ph greater than 5 so the reaction happens like this generally below uh, 5 reaction uh, uh, for example if you have ph less than 5 okay at that time if you add chlorine the chlorine will simply remain as cl2 below P uh, ph if you have pH less than five, then this reaction will be there. But when you have re uh, when you have uh, pH uh, greater than five, then uh, this thing will happen. Okay. Now, what happens if you have different pH? Because the pH is not a constant property. Different water samples have different pH. Okay. So if you have pH uh, greater th uh, less than less than seven, if you have pH less than seven, and uh, mm, uh, and pH greater than 8 okay then uh, this reaction will occur okay uh, it will be like this HOCl will actually this is this is a reversible reaction okay the dissociation will occur in both things okay there will be equilibrium maintained okay HOCl this uh, hypochlorous acid will dissociate in in H positive okay and plus there will be OCl negative OCl negative and this is called as hypochlorite ion hypochlorite ion hypochlorous acid because these are important to mention over here because actually the disinfection takes place because of these two things hypochlorous acid and hypochlorite ion now this HOCl, HOCl plus OCl negative plus Cl2. This is what we call as freely, freely available chlorine. Okay. This is called as freely available chlorine. But HOCl, it is 80 times, okay, it's 80 times more effective than uh, this hypochlorite ion, okay, and it is most destructive. HOCl is most destructive ion. So we need, uh, we need, uh, we, we, we will obviously want more HOCl to be present in our water. So we will, we will obviously think of maintaining the pH less than 7 okay less than when you have ph less than 7 the whole of the thing gets converted the chlorine gets converted into hocl so <clears throat> uh, preferably my ph of water should be less than 7 when i am doing the chlorination now uh, as i said chlorination is added to eliminate these uh, uh, bacteria harmful bacteria present and other microbes which are present in our water that that are harmful to humans if we drink them okay if we consume them now uh, when we when we talk about the chlorination go for example uh, if i if i say if i say if i dry it like this if i dry it like this
let 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 this x axis uh, show me the applied chlorine applied chlorine in parts per million or mg per liter okay and this is the residual chlorine residual chlorine what is residual chlorine residual chlorine is simply the, when you when you are adding the chlorine into the water and the leftover chlorine inside the water is called as residual chlorine the unreacted form of this chlorine applied chlorine is called residual chlorine and residual chlorine uh, to to uh, to know the quantity of residual chlorine in a water sample we have different tests we have ortho toluidine test we have starch iodide test or iodometric test we have chloro test and we have dpd test which is which is the best test among these four that is di diethyl paraffinyl diamine okay uh, to know the residual chlorine we have these tests okay now when when we actually apply the chlorine uh, when, when we are actually adding the chlorine in the water sample so my curve will be like this if i talk about a pure water sample okay which doesn't have any uh, bacteria inside it okay where we don't need any disinfection for example when we apply the chlorine okay the whole of the chlorine will be actually residual chlorine because uh, chlorine will not be involved in any sort of disinfection so the slope of this curve that will be 1 okay tan, tan of theta but tan, uh, the angle will be 45 degree okay the angle will be 45 degree because slope is the rise rise of the curve in divided by run okay so that is actually uh, uh, shown by the tan of theta okay and that will be obviously one so applying applied chlorine will be equal to residual chlorine in a pure water sample pure water sample okay where you don't have any microbes you have you don't have any organic matter with which the chlorine should react okay pure water sample this is for 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 pure water sample okay but if i have a uh, if i have an infected water sample where there are microbes there is uh, organic matter okay so the curve for that will be like this I, i'll be showing it at some distance over here for example let let this be the origin okay for that water sample and uh, that will be like this initially when you are adding the chlorine okay uh, the the slope of this line is obviously not uh, the one or the angle over here is not uh, uh, 45 degree okay is not 45 it's less than 45 degree obviously because uh, the applied chlorine will not it will be it will be greater than the residual chlorine the residual chlorine will be there but it will be less than the applied chlorine because some of the chlorine will be involved in disinfection process that will be uh, getting consumed actually okay so uh, basically when i when i uh, understand the curve of the uh, when when i am adding the chlorine okay so basically the curve comes like this okay up to some point maybe if i if i keep this point a and this point b okay so till this point b all of the microorganisms uh, bacteria are eliminated and after point b what happens is that i see a sudden fall fall in the curve like this okay and what this shows this drop shows that the residual chlorine is getting consumed okay and this shows that here the organic matter is getting oxidized organic matter any organic matter that is present other than the microorganisms will be actually getting oxidized that will be getting consumed that will be actually getting eliminated okay so the chlorine is actually involved that is that's getting reacted to do this thing okay so you will see a drop in the residual chlorine level okay and after that after that if you keep on adding the chlorine because this is showing the applied chlorine if you keep on adding the chlorine uh, the curve will be like this oh and you will get a perfect 45 line degree over here whose slope is 1 okay and whole of the chlorine that will be adding beyond this point will be appearing as residual chlorine so this point is called break point chlorine chlorination break point chlorine at this point uh, this point is called this dose is, dose is called break point point chlorination okay so beyond this point whole of the chlorine that you are applying will appear as residual chlorine now guys practically when we do the chlorination in water samples okay we uh, we actually find this point this uh, residual chlorine maybe this is 10 for example for example 10 mg per liter okay 
this part point over here comes but we give 10 plus 0.2 or 0.3 mg per liter this 0.2 or 0.3 is actually uh, uh, kept over there for further recontamination if there is further recontamination in future of that water sample this will take uh, care of that okay hope you have uh, enjoyed this session this short session about breakpoint coordination if you like the content please subscribe and share the channel and press the bell icon thank you